A fluid has density 800 kilograms per meters cubed and flows with velocity given by the vector field V where x, y, and z are measured in meters and the components of V are measured in meters per second. We want to find the rate of flow outward through the part of the paraboloid z equals 16 minus x squared minus y squared that lies above the x, y plane. So it's important to recognize here this flow rate is a mass flow rate because notice how we're given the density function here. So let's first take a look at this graphically. The gray vector field is the graph of the vector field V. We're trying to find the flow rate outward along the surface of the paraboloid above the yellow plane, which is the xy plane. Looking at the vector field, we can see the flow rate is outward, so we should expect the flow rate to be positive. So going back to our work, with a slight modification of the basic flux integral, we can determine this mass flow rate. If we include the density function in the flux integral as shown here, this will give us the mass flow rate. And we'll divide with this surface integral by writing it as a double integral over the region R, where the region R is a projection of S onto the xy plane. So if we go back to our graph just for a moment, if we look down on the xy plane, notice how the region R is this circle here, which is also graphed here on the side. So using our formula, rho is equal to 800. Now notice here the vector field F must be written as a function of x and y because differential A is equal to dx dy or dy dx. So let's say the vector field F, which is really the vector field V, has an x component of x, a y component of y, but the z component is z, but we must substitute 16 minus x squared minus y squared for z. So the z component is again 16 minus x squared minus y squared, which leads us to our surface z, which equals g of x comma y. So z equals g of x comma y, which equals 16 minus x squared minus y squared. So now let's find our partial derivatives of g with respect to x and y. So the partial of g with respect to x is a derivative of 16 minus x squared minus y squared with respect to x, that'd be negative 2x. And the partial of g with respect to y would just be negative 2y. Which means the flow rate is equal to the double integral over the region r of rho, which is 800, times this dot product so f of x comma y has an x component of x, a y component of y, and a z component of 16 minus x squared minus y squared, dotted with, here we have the opposite of the partial of g with respect to x, that would be 2x, comma, the opposite of the partial of g with respect to y, that'd be 2y, and the z component is 1, differential a. Let's go ahead and find the dot product and factor out the 800. So you have 800 times the double integral over the region R of x times 2x, that's 2x squared, plus y times 2y, that's plus 2y squared. And then we have plus this quantity times 1, so 16 minus x squared minus y squared differential A. Let's go ahead and simplify this on the next slide. Combining like terms, we have x squared plus y squared plus 16 differential A. Now let's go back and take a look at the region R. Remember the region R is this circle here centered at the origin with the radius of four. So let's evaluate this using polar coordinates where differential A is equal to R d R d theta and x squared plus y squared is equal to R squared. So we have 800 times the double integral of, this would be R squared plus 16 r d r d theta. The limit integration for r would be from zero to four because the radius of the circle is four. The limit integration for theta would be from zero to two pi all the way around the circle. Let's go ahead and distribute the r. So we have r cubed plus 16 r d r d theta. And now we integrate with respect to r. So we have 800 times the integral from zero to two pi of one-fourth r to the fourth 
plus 16 times r squared divided by two, that's plus eight r squared. So when r is four, we have one fourth times four to the fourth plus eight times four to the second. And then when r is zero, both terms would be zero. This simplifies to 192, so we have 800 times 192 times the integral from zero to two pi d theta, if we want one d theta, and this product is equal to 153,600. And now we integrate with respect to theta, so we have 153,600, and then we have theta. So evaluating here, we have 153,600 times two pi minus zero, which is equal to 307,200 pi, or as a decimal approximation, this is approximately 965,097 point two six three two. Remember this is a mass flow rate, so the units here would be kilograms per second. I hope you found this helpful.